Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today I woke up this morning and uh, I was just doing my farms, I was sending everything out and I saw the update patch notes come through right as I was um, getting ready to log off and get ready for work. And I went ahead and started reading them and we're going to do that together here on the, uh, the video. But then I got halfway down and there's amazing announcements guys. Oh, I can't wait to read these things to you. I'm not even going to go into any more explanation. Let's jump into these patch notes. We're going to go through them. Comment below. Have fun. New game. It's a new game. So let's get to it. Uh, first one is, it's basically announcing the, the Christmas holiday New Year's event stuff that's coming up. So it's giving you all the different, um, all the different events you're going to have. Uh, Tis the season to be jolly. We'll go live within two weeks after the update, which is a Christmas event. Preparing for Christmas Eve, you'll gather resources, the normal stuff. Oh, Christmas tree, you'll decorate your tree. Now, we'll see if that's the 7,000 gem version or if it's the full Alliance donation version. or I don't know exactly just yet, but we'll see. Sharp Eyes looks like there's a quick puzzle again as well, which is very nice. I love the puzzle. I know everybody else doesn't like the puzzle, but I do. I like the puzzle. And then Brazen Thieves, we got Thieves back. That's one That's one uh, usable item that I have not stockpiled. Uh, I've got tons of Lohar. I've got uh, tons of Strategic Reserve stuff even um, that I haven't even opened up yet. But Brazen Thieves, I've only got like maybe four or five Cutlasses left. That's about it. So um, I will definitely be going decently hard on that. Not crazy but enough to stockpile some stuff because those came in very handy a few months ago where there was a bug that you could go ahead and aoe them all down at the same time that was fun uh and we went crazy on the rewards so next one in with the new here's the new year event we'll go live three weeks after the update light up the night collect fireworks celebrate the new year that was fun last time every time you lit off a firework you get a resource or a gold key or something like that. You get a reward, which was pretty cool. Fireworks display, sell the fireworks, win great rewards. So that's basically what I just said. Bankrupt the boutique. A mysterious merchant is offering some insane deals. And the more you buy, the better deals you'll receive. That's the one you buy out that courier shop, guys. If you once you see the bankrupt the boutique. The, the insane deals that they offer are very, very good, and they only get better the more you do it. So I'm going to buy out the courier shop every day that that uh, event is going on. And then raise, rage, race against time. Uh, kill barbarians as fast as you can and strike fear into their hearts. Interesting. Oh, that's the one where you got like five minutes to kill as many barbs as you can or something like that. I just teased a little bit of it. Improve the immigration system. We have been waiting for this forever, okay? It's finally here. Immigration system, rehaul, revamp. It's not a massive fix, but I do like the changes. It gives a better overall picture of the kingdom power, and it also gives the functionality for a kingdom to receive one player a month that they really want. That's like a free agency kind of thing, which is kind of cool. So, improve the Imperium system. Since its release, the immigration system has been really popular, so we've made some more improvements to this feature. I don't know if really popular is the right word, but controversial is the word. I think is the, is the word that they were looking for there. The individual credits needed to buy a passport in the, in the Alliance shop has been reduced from 800 to 600. It's still pretty bad, and I hate verification rewards. They're the worst. But uh, we all have to do this together, don't we? <laughs> We're all in this together. We all play the same game. So um, 800 to 600, that's, what is that, 25%? Yeah, 25% decrease. So that's helpful. It's still a lot, but it's helpful uh, for free-to-play to be able to purchase passports in the Alliance shop and get to where they want to go. Governors with less than 35 million power now require less passport pages for immigration. So again, helping free-to-play, not only from a, a cheaper per page perspective, but cheaper pages per level, 
perspective if you want to look at it that way. Here's the good one. A kingdom's power is now calculated from the combined power of the top 300 governors instead of the top 100. That helps us out tremendously. That means we're going to drop out of Imperium Kingdom. Kingdom 225 should not be an Imperium Kingdom if you're using the top 300 governors because it is a newer kingdom and we're very top heavy. So look for our kingdom in Kingdom 225 to open up again and we'll get together with everybody who wanted to come over and we'll start doing the numbers on what that means and all that good stuff. We're gonna get there guys, okay? Um, the next thing is each month, which is, I think this is really cool too. This is something I never thought of. Um, I might've thought about it, but I didn't put too much thought into it, but it's, it's all, I love it. So each, each month, the king of the, of an Imperium kingdom, you can choose to accept one governor with 25 million plus power. So the only thing I wish they would have done to add to this is change the lowest cap from 25 to 35. 25 million power is like, I mean, there's people that just started the game yesterday that have 25 million, and of course they put money into the game, but even free-to-play players where they haven't put a single dime into the game, they don't have mana, they don't have anything, you know, you can get to 25 million in a couple months. I mean, it's not that hard. This game has been uh, out for quite a while. So, I mean, I, I would have liked to have seen them in, increase it to 35 million. I think that's the only critique I've got, but this is awesome. So, it, at least it's a step, right? I think, if nothing else, this is really what will help us get to the point where it's more fair for having an Imperium Kingdom because... There's still going to be the top three or four, right? So you've still got, you know, the the 103s, the 59s, the 93s, right? Uh, where they've got double, triple the power in their kingdom than everybody else. But then now for those of them that are like me in, in our kingdom in K225, where we're one of probably 25 other kingdoms that are in between six and a half and seven and a half billion power in the top 100 this helps this helps tremendously so i'm excited that this is the case um i i as soon as i read this i had to jump down to the studio and uh read this to you guys because it's something that i know i've been waiting for for quite some time and then certainly i know that many others have as well and again this should open us up from an Imperium Kingdom standpoint, so be ready if you were one of the ones that wanted to come over at the very beginning uh, or have been wanting to come over since uh, you found out about what we're doing here in uh, K225. Go ahead and get with me, get with Mika, get with any of the R4 or R5s on any of the alliances in the Kingdom, uh, and we will get you squared away once this happens. Other changes, uh, here's some good stuff too, and more really good I mean, this was just a solid patch. I mean, when I first started reading it, I'm like, okay, it's another event uh, and holiday patch note deal. And then I got to the meat of it, and it was just amazing. Amazing. Definitely an amazing uh, patch for me. This hits all my notes. Well, not all. I mean, we're still missing Fort Finders. We're still missing 500 other things. But this hits some really good stuff for me. Uh, so I'm really excited about this patch. So during the Ark of Osiris, governors can now tap on the Osiris icon, the Ark of Osiris icon, at the top left corner of the screen to select the Ark directly and use it. So that means to me, that does away with the the ball of covering the Ark up whenever um, there's about 40 or 50 armies in the middle trying to scrum for the Ark, where you can kind of just scoot through because it's so heavily populated in the middle there and they can't tap you to actually hit you um that means to me like you can just tap on the top left uh, well that was the top right for you guys tap on the top left corner of your screen there and um it should bring up the art carrier to where you can hit attack and then select your armies so that will do assuming i'm reading that correctly that will do away with um that will do away with that problem in the arc of osiris i kind of liked it because it was a little bit of a strategy but I can also see where you, if you want to attack the Ark Carrier, you should be able to attack them without 
uh, having to worry about can I select them? Is it you know that that's that shouldn't be a problem in the game, but it was, and people used it to their advantage, and rightly so. But that should get rid of it. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind as you're developing your strategies for the next Osiris League, all that good stuff. Uh, in the events panel, similar types of events will now be automatically sorted together. That's kind of cool. Under settings, governors can now choose to display or hide their own nickname when sending alliance gifts. If you're humble or you just don't want people to know that you got a little cash and you're the one spending, you can hide it now. <laughs> Otherwise, you can keep your name up there so people can send you a quick thank you for their gold chest. Here's another good one here. So Julius Caesar, Mehmed, and Frederick are now added to the daily special offer bundle. I wish I knew this was coming. I've been working on Frederick for the last few weeks and put roughly 150 to 200 sculptures, universal sculptures into him to max him out. He's actually only about 35 sculptures away now. So the, now the question becomes, do I go ahead and finish him off, which I think I will, um, because I'm so close, uh, or do I wait and go ahead and get the daily chest to max him out, and that would be the best way to do it, really, and that way I can use those universals on another commander. I don't care. I'm impatient. I'm going to go ahead and close him off now, but this is cool. You got Julius Caesar, Mehmed, and Frederick. So after you're done with El Cid, you get Julius, Mehmed, and Frederick. So that's pretty sweet. And the daily special offer bundle. So, um, governors can now buy even better the hammer and anvil bundles. So that's pretty cool. I, again, I have noticed an impact of, of equipment in the game, especially in Sunset Canyon, which is now going to have a KVK version of it, Lost the Lost Canyon, um, which will give you pretty sweet rewards and things like that that you're going to need. So this could be a big deal, um, especially for the higher level folks that are playing the game. You definitely want to pay attention to that and see what kind of um, rewards you're going to get from getting those higher level bundles. Uh, also revamped all attack sound effects of troops and all sound effects of structures on the map. Revamped and enhanced some UI sound effects. So, okay. Uh, and then the character list now sorts by character power. I don't understand. I did it not do that before? Character list now sorts by character power. All right. Okay. That sounds good too. Obviously the two biggies uh, besides the, the event stuff is the immigration system and the addition of the daily special awful special offer special offer uh, chest so it, once you max El Cid you can buy the chest and actually get something for it besides more El Cid so hope you guys enjoyed again I had to do a quick video on this just because I saw it and I got so excited about the immigration changes this was the best part of my morning I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready and get ready for work I gotta go ahead and travel a little bit so um, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Cheers and take care.